AITA for requesting a paternity test and wanting to share the results in the family group chat, while also considering divorce. I, 35F, have been married to my husband, Bob, 35M, for two years. This year, we had a baby boy named Jack. Bob's mother has always been kind and welcoming to me, almost like the family I never had, until our baby was born and didn't resemble my husband at all. Both my husband and I are biologists, so we understand how genetics work, and he doesn't mind at all. However, his family has been making hurtful comments about doubting our child's paternity every time we visit them. They have even been spreading rumors. It's gotten to the point where it's affecting my mental health and making it hard for me to be around them. Keep in mind, I grew up in foster care, so his family is our only support system. To me, this seems like a simple matter. We do a quick paternity test, send the results to the family members in question, especially my mother-in-law, and settle the issue. I brought this up to my husband, who told me he doesn't want to do this because it would suggest that his mother's words were enough to make him question me, which would reflect poorly on our marriage. I argued that my mental health and reputation are more important than how our marriage is publicly perceived, while he argued that dealing with his side of the family should be his decision. He says he wants to cut them off if they continue after he has a talk with them. This is where I might have crossed a line. I got upset and said, well, that's easy for you to say, you're not the one constantly accused of being unfaithful. Your decisions stop being only yours when they start affecting me. He snapped back that his decision was to cut them off so it didn't matter what I did anyway. At that point, I was pretty angry because I felt like he was making everything about him, so I said that I don't care about his family or whether or not he cuts them off, that is his decision, but I want to do the test just to settle the issue and protect my own reputation. He also got angry and said he doesn't want his family to think their comments got to him so much that we needed proof. I had enough, so I said that my reputation is important to me, and more important than whatever public image he wants to protect. I can't sleep at night knowing his entire family thinks I was unfaithful, so he either gives me a DNA sample for the test, or I'm considering divorce. I also told him that if he forces my hand, I'll take legal action, which would require him to take a test to get access to our son. So those test results are coming out one way or the other, and it's best if he chooses the easy way. He was shocked and just said, but we both know he is my kid. And I said, yes, uh, we do, but if I'm being accused of something this serious, I am entitled to produce evidence that proves my innocence, and I will do it one way or another. I didn't wait for a response and just went to sleep in my car. I haven't heard from him yet, which makes me wonder if I am in the wrong. My rationale is that I am being accused of something serious, and I have every right to bring up evidence to disprove it. But I also understand his point of view now that I'm calmer. Ita, edit. I don't think I fully described the impact of these rumors. They are affecting my career as a teacher in a small religious school. People avoid me in public, and I'm receiving hurtful messages on social media.